today for our passage from Guadeloupe to St. Martin. We got almost 200 miles to go. Last time we visited St. Martin, just after Irma, the Category 5 hurricane that caused widespread destruction along its path in September 2017. We just made it to St. Martin and it's pretty damn scary. We knew that we're not gonna see a uh, pretty beach and uh, uh, hotels and whatnot, but uh, what we've seen was quite uh, devastating. Uh, the, the houses are, are gone, some of them, I mean the roofs definitely are gone and uh, the boats flipped over on the, on the side of the road like you see uh, uh, behind us. We have Fritz here, uh, he's our uh, local friend, he's uh, lived in St. Martin for many many years. But then uh, already during the storm people came to, to already break in and loot and so that has done a lot of damage to uh, uh, important businesses here mm -hmm. on the island. Mm -hmm. And another thing is also uh, the, the long-term impact because as we see over here, I mean, most of the hotels are completely destroyed. Yes. I mean, uh, this is not a few weeks worth of repair. We were talking about some, some places recovering for years before they're going to be reopened, correct? Yeah, for sure. And, so that's, and that's for an island that lives from tourism is very bad. It's and of impact. course, our airport is was very badly damaged. This is what's left of our favorite restaurants. Twenty-four hours later, we arrived to St. Martin, with our hearts open to see this beautiful island four years after the hurricane. place to anchor <laughs> but I just decided that he was always re he was, he was almost ready to drop the anchor but then I said okay maybe it's not a good spot here so we're gonna just stand over there So, welcome back. Kuba asked me to turn on the internet. Of course, I do. Internet. Can you say it in English, please? How you say it in English? Hmm? There you go. Mommy, can you please please turn on the internet? Yes. Yes. Ida. Okay, let's go. Okay. Nie ma Vincenta. Okay. Okay, so we anchored, we got three meters of water, of depth, and the wind is not so heavy because it's 10 knots. Mm -hmm. Does it work? It works or not? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you need to tell me what are you watching. What is the title of the movie? King Julian, okay. So enjoy, boys. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and that's it, yeah. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> we felt compelled to uh, uh, give you an update of what's going on. So, Surprising uh, that. we are in St. Martin. We didn't plan it to come here. <laughs> it was really spontaneous to come here. Completely. Because of Adam, our friend, he was uh, with us on uh, 
for the last few weeks and he got some uh, job to be done here in San Martin and we decided, okay, let's go. Why not? And and, and we happens. and we reconnected with our local friends here, which was really awesome. Uh, so we're you know so we got really good connections with all kinds of uh, local info yeah. so that worked out really mm. well too you know and the kids got somebody to play with yeah so it's all working out and it's amazing because here in st martin everything looks like uh, almost normal yeah like, everything's uh, pretty much normal the the of the restaurants oh i can see the turtle <laughs> Uh, yeah, so the restaurants are open, uh, the bars, the, uh, the the beach, and so this is really amazing. And the most important thing, talking about planes. So there are so many flights every day here. Yeah, yeah. There are so many charter yachts here, the private and uh, charter companies. So there are so many, so many people coming here. So we decided that uh, it's the very first time since what February last mm -hmm. year that we're gonna invite uh, people aboard Holly yeah. yeah yeah and do you guys think uh, Anya's got beautiful eyes I do wow ah. <laughs> <laughs> but Try I'm gonna get uh, wrinkles really oh <laughs> it is like a promo of our new uh, yeah, sunglasses by the way, yeah. actually you like know what we should start like selling it. them it's really cool way. because they don't have this uh, me, uh, metal, uh, little, uh, I don't know. Yeah, what you call those it. things that, all, that go on the nose. Uh, no, See? you know, you don't know because that little uh, steel things always stuck to my hair and I always lose uh, some there you go. hair. Yeah, so <laughs> these things usually get stuck into uh, long hair. Yeah. So for women, this is perfect. So I can do like that. And for guys with like long that. hair. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we're going to put maybe sooner or later in all our right. shop. People are falling asleep. Yes, okay. Guys, thank you very yeah. much for being with us. Mm. Anything else, Anya? Yeah, if uh, we just posted yesterday uh, the, 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 the the big announcement. Uh, the big announcement is that we decided to sail to Poland. Yes, so, so the transat is on the offer. Yeah, so after a really, really tough, and maybe not tough, <laughs> like a long discussions and analyzes, so we decided that we're going to take this risk and go to Poland. And yeah, so we're going to set up. Uh, Shop over set there. Off, set up, set off. Set off in uh, May. In May, yes. In, May. in, uh, in May. at the end of April, we're yeah. setting off to uh, to Poland, and we're expecting to be there in the uh, first half of yeah. June. So if, so you, if, if anybody wants to join, let us know. Stay on adventure five weeks, six weeks with Bartek because I'm not going. Yeah, she can't. She can't stand me for five, <laughs> yeah, six weeks. Actually, you just can. You can just imagine like a kids, uh, like a two little monkeys, almost uh, blown. Uh, blow our blowing ship. Up the, blowing up yeah, the place, after yes. After a few weeks, it will be like a catastrophe. So we decided that we're going to invite some people who want to just, just experience uh, five weeks at sea. It will be, it is amazing. So it's I'm going to wait for you in uh, in Poland. All right. <laughs> with the champagne. All right. Okay. All right. Good. And the kiss. And the kiss. All right. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. Yeah. <laughs> then we went on explore Saint Martin. It turned out the island got plenty to offer. Lots of bays and sweet beaches, animals, street art with beautiful paintings, nature and civilization at the same time. Last time we were here, our kids were too small to enjoy all the goodies of island. So now we could hike and discover St. Martin from the mountain tops. We are also happy not to rush and got opportunity to spend time with our friends and thanks to them made some new ones.
take you to the famous airport. On our way, we can still notice Harkin aftermath. There are still many wrecks in the water. Some of them are easy to notice, but there are also the submerged ones marked with small bolts. Hey guys, we're in the uh, famous Marco Beach in uh, uh, St. Martin. The really uh, famous. The really famous, and where is it what is it famous for? It's famous for the fact that you've probably seen those crazy YouTube videos of people hanging on to the fence uh, behind a, a big jet blast uh, of a jet taking off. So we have uh, a small one behind us, but we got here on time for uh, KLM arrival. So we hope to get it for you when it's landing. Julian is waiting for Delta to take off. Kuba is ready to fly. And there's Delta. 757. There's Delta, it's Ameriki, tak. Zaraz. No zobacz tam samolot jest pieniędzy. And there goes the jet blast and flying sand. And off he goes. <laughs> Looks like American. Let's see if it's going to make some mess on the beach. next week to see more about St. Martin and some of our adventure, especially our drone recovery from the bottom of the sea. So honey, what did you put it here? What's the recipe? If you are new here, remember to subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified about our new releases. Thank you, stay safe and fair winds. Segredos vem da floresta de luz, Pacha Mama, Pacha Mama, abre a consciência dos seus filhos a crescer.